If you're using one of Fortigate's latest firmware, then you will find out that the DLP, the Data Leak Prevention, is not there anymore, at least not as a graphical user interface. Now, parts of it went to the web filter. You can actually use the file filter and block different types of files. But credit card and social security numbers blocking or logging can only be done using the command line. So let's take a look at how we configure a credit card sensor using the command line. Coming up. Credit card sensor matches numbers, numbers from credit cards. Those can be from MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and so on. Now, it can be used with files or with messages, that is, email messages. So let's configure our first credit card sensor. And let's start by config DLP sensor. Let's just add it. Let's create an entry and config filter and our first filter will be number one all right so let's you know what let's skip the name of the filter let's set the type to message we can also use uh, files but we are actually using now messages and let's set the protocol now, since we're aiming at email protocols, those will be SMTP, POP3, and IMAP. All right. Now, let's set the filter by credit card. You can also use social security number, or you can actually use regular expression if you're looking for specific patterns in the text itself. But we are using a credit card sensor. Let's just... Now let's use next, let's end it, and let's set DLP log to enable. And that's it. That's how you create a basic credit card sensor. Now, there are other options that you can choose from, such as sensitivity and so on. So I urge you, look at the CLI reference and configure it the way you want.